Right, what's going on? What's going on? As you can see, the motor is finally out. It is out. As you can see, I had some tools over here. I was getting ready to do some cutting on this car, but I eventually went and um, I had a rusted bolt removal kit, a craftsman, and this one here just bites into the bolts to remove them. And as you can see here, I needed a whole lot of that. So um, I just kind of like um, found the right size socket that I would need. And um, just uh, slide, slid it over there. I think this one took like a number six uh, socket. Put it over there, broke them loose. Because they're not coming out by regular sockets. So I've gotten this all the way out. And I sprayed it overnight with some spray nine just to kind of let it um, sit, marinate a little bit. Going to kind of get this uh, engine bay cleaned up a little bit. Get all this stuff out, see what needs to be painted, what needs to be removed. Um, I left the power steering in there, the AC in there, reservoir. And I'm going to see if I can get the, uh, the clutch. The clutch assembly or the reservoir at least in there so i'm going to clean this up and then i'll be right back kind of got the engine bay uh degreased got it all down here so now i'm kind of looking to see what i need to move out the way i think i'm going to take this other fan out and i'm going to push this um fuse box inside um, but I, I wanted, really wanted to get all this grease out and kind of see what's going on. So, from what I'm seeing, it has the soft metal here. It has um, has a small little um, indentation. Uh, the frame is good, and most of the case here is what I see. Anyways, is them um, removing from right here all the way around. So. I don't think that should be a big issue um, if you guys are doing a case swap. Um, also, once it dries, I'm going to sand this down and repaint it. It's uh, it's surface rust for right now, but if I don't take care of it, then it, it, could, uh, it could be bad in the long run. Um, left all the mounts in there. Got another mount right there. And um, it had some other mounts down here. But um, those were completely shredded, so I had to get rid of those. But I'm just kind of seeing what needs to be removed. And like I said, like uh, this fan, I'm going to take it out and push this fuse box through. So just kind of showing you the little progress. I really wanted to get it cleaned up, though, and um, see that nice pearly white. And uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to paint the engine bays yet. Um... As you can see, this is where they had the accident here, so uh, they repainted it black, and um, yeah, so just showing you a quick little progress report. What's going on, y'all? What's going on? See, I got the wife down here cleaning up her truck. She's just uh, brushing it out. We hitting it with the uh, with the drill, all that, getting whatever rust that Frankie said we didn't have. So she's pretty much just cleaning it up. While I'm out here, um, we're trying to get the Civic, all that stuff done. Then we're going to hit it. This is going to be the final. This is what we're trying to eventually add on there. So we're going to primer it. Sorry for the noise, y'all. So I just went to the store, got some primer, some paint. This is for the hatch, and hopefully this can, can of primer is still good. We're going to try to hit the truck with this, and see we got all kind of sanding this, sanding wheel that we're using. The fuse box is already out the way. Uh, that's inside, so I'm going to remove the headlight harness and put that inside, and um, try to get it nice for whosoever gets it, man. So, like I said, um getting this situated i'm going to see if i can and i can always do this at any point but get the uh the clutch reservoir in there so 
She's over here just kind of um, going at it. We'll come back once we make more progress. Oh my God, this is the, uh, oh man. Look at this, y'all. Oh my goodness. This is like the third shoes for the month. It was all old, but still. <laughs> so yeah, we um pulled up all the stuff, all the battery hold down, the area box, all the lines. We are we going we going deep. Yeah. So y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, y'all. Definitely. Even a low TLC, some rubbing alcohol. So we're just kind of using it to uh, prep the surface as best as we possibly can. So we need to go to CVS. All right, Ed, get me some more alcohol because we stole some out of our first aid kit. So she just pretty much just pouring it on there, wiping that thing down, and then start the primering. Yeah. And um, we got the other side as best as we can get it. So she's gonna wipe it down with the alcohol too. Start the primary. She wasn't a pro before, she a pro now. Right? <laughs> All right. So, she has got it as good as she's gonna get it. Um, putting in work. So, now, after wiping it down with the alcohol on both sides, like I said, we're not going to get it to shiny metal, but uh, we're going to try to preserve it as much as possible. So now the next step is trying to put some primer on this. Uh, it's going to be a little bit messy. We're going to try to get the can as close as possible. We're not worried about running. Mm -mm, don't put them, nobody mess up no more than we ever mess up. So she's going to slap some primer on it. Touching it with a prime primer now. I'm trying not to get in her way. I like this much better. I like just being the cameraman. <laughs> oh yeah, don't mind my old underwear, y'all. This is what we use to wipe the alcohol down with, and I just kind of got it over the intake so nothing gets down in the intake. Hey, can't waste nothing. So she's gonna primer it out, and we're not worried about it being clean and pretty. We just want to get the primer everywhere. If the engine was out, then it would be a different story, but got, at least got the mask on. We was trying to get this on her, but step in process. So if you're here on the Civic, I just went on ahead and pulled the air AC lines out, out the way. Make sure you have a, a, um, a vacuum, an AC vacuum to vacuum the Freon out. And now i got full access to getting down the hair i'm just kind of waiting for it to dry a little bit sun over there is grilling i'm over here with the uh the grinder because uh trying to make sure i get this thing down to the shiny metal and the wife you all right over here boy He's throwing the chicken on the grill. It's real fast and furious right here. <laughs> doing this thing. Might want to put those on shoes, boy. No, but put those on shoes. Hold the chicken properly. Turn the fork the other way. There you go. Yeah. Hey, man. So I got the, uh, she, she got one side done. The rust is a lot deeper than we thought. 
No, she's up under there. I'm trying to, this is the hardest part. This is the hardest per, part, is just prepping it. Once you can prep it, get down to the metal. I was telling her if we can get all of it like this, that would be good, which we can't, but we at least want to get the flakes off of the uh, metal. So that, that you know, the deeper we can get, the better without going through the metal. So we got um, one side primed out, touched up everywhere, anywhere the bolts come through, all that. And um, once she, she's doing working over there, it's drying over here, then you're going to put the paint on over here. We ain't worrying about being so clean. We can always wipe that off with paint cleaner. Thing is coming out good. Real nice. Still gotta get up here though. Should have missed this spot here. But um, yeah, this thing here is getting yeah, it's coming out way better than I expected. Coming out way better than I expected. Coming out way better than I expected. So the other side here needs some more primer though. Um, we try to remove as much bolts as we can and um, get on it there. We even removed the, uh, the little rubber rubberized piece here, and I got the uh, the grinder and hit it as much as possible, and then the wife just hit it with a wire brush so yeah man thing definitely looking good now yeah definitely got some rust up there though see it we'll, we'll get to that point for right now we'll just try to take care of the chassis so hopefully we'll be done because she we've been on this for a while i think uh all the smack talking, she'll be done with all that. Why are you taking so long? Now she understands the amount of work it takes to actually do it. That's like you asking me why it takes so long when I'm doing my hair. Mm-hmm. This is the prep work. Then I, I got to prep too. What you have to prep? When I'm doing my hair, I got to prep my hair and the hair that I'm going to put in. All right, all right. That's fair. Mm -hmm. So now you understand, right? So now you understand too? No, I'm going to go through here process it. Yeah, so this thing here is coming out good. So definitely come back when it's dry. Mine's is not making nowhere closer progress as hers. Check on the chicken real quick. Woo! Oh yeah, my son was helping me, but for like five minutes. I mean, he's sick, so <laughs> I take that. So you can see I aluminum foil it. I grinded it down all the way down um as much as i can aluminum foil it and um hit it with the primer so right here i gotta get i don't like how this is so i'm not putting a primer or anything on there i'm gonna try to uh work that thing out probably gonna uh take the fender out the way but yeah i mainly wanted to get back here because this is the hardest part to get to and then i can slowly um primer everything out then paint it so yeah man making progress i'm gonna leave the civic primer for right now all right yeah she back here putting in work i see you got the sander <laughs> oh you see the bite minute let me plug up the other one uh, so she's over here putting in work on her truck I uh, completely took off the front of the Civic bumper see what's going on uh, this piece here is a little bit messed up it needs a new bumper support uh, sanded it down I took the fuse box out, the battery hole down, 
sanded all that down. I'm trying to push this wire harness through. Uh, as you can see, the motor is out. Uh, wash down the engine bay, all that. I left the AC compressor in there, the power steering. Um, kind of have a piece of string holding up the exhaust. Um, piece of uh, wire holding up the AC. And um, we've just been putting in work, so let's see how what progress she's made on the truck. Sweet. So we painted out, or well, she painted out the rest of the truck. She got a little droplets on the um on the hose, but we can use paint remover to to get that. Um, she went she went up all up in there and um got that thing nice and rust free. Let's see over here. Woo! Gotta touch this up a little bit more. But um been putting in work man. Getting this thing nice and in the whole entire now the whole entire chassis is painted out. Still have a little bit of rust like up in here. But those are detachable. You can remove those at any time. So yeah, now the whole thing we might have to touch up, up in there down in the future, but I didn't want to put this thing on the road and have to worry about um, something that I know I can change or something I know I can do. Um, might down the road remove the shock and get up in there so it doesn't rust out. But she's been doing most of the work. I've been being her, her support, bringing out the you know making sure she has air, she has the grinder. Um, I made sure she. Um, I made sure I had chicken on the grill. I made sure I had put chicken on. I swear, the chicken. It looks. It tastes better than it looks. I burned it a little bit because I was kind of um, running around. I got some corn going for the wife. Boil some corn. Roast some planting. Earlier, she made some fish. Just been trying to uh, support her while she's getting her, you know, her cleaning and. and and all that of the truck. Take care, y'all.